So if you and I both grow a seed from the exact same plant, my plant might look like this, while your plant looks like this, even though they are both the same exact strain. But if they are both the same exact strain that came from the same exact plant, why do they look so different from each other? What's up and welcome back to The Strain Show. If you've never been here before, my name is Matt and I'm a cannabis industry employee, a medical marijuana patient. I love to learn everything I can about weed and that's exactly what we do on this channel. So if you wanna learn some new fun facts about weed every week, don't forget to subscribe so you can put some nuggets of knowledge into your strain brain. Today we're gonna learn why seeds that came from the same plant might grow new plants that all look completely different because of something called phenotypes. First, we're gonna learn what cannabis genotypes and phenotypes actually are and what the difference between the two is. And then we're gonna learn what you can expect if you grow from seeds so you can always pick the right pheno that is perfect for you. So plants and animals have both developed basically the same principle of evolution. In every living organism, there is a DNA code Code known as the genotype. The genotype of a plant will determine a range of different growth possibilities the plant can express. The genotype doesn't determine exactly how a plant will grow, it's more like a set of genetic boundaries that determine all the ways the plant is able to grow. The exact way a particular genotype will grow is determined by the plant's phenotype. A cannabis phenotype describes the plant's physical appearance, its shape, the way it grows, its biochemistry, and its overall behavior. The phenotype of one strain is determined by two factors. The genotype, or the genetic code, and the influence of external environmental factors. For example, if you were growing like a purple berry lemonade seed outside, it might grow outside with all kinds of really cool purple and blue colors. But if you were to plant that same exact seed inside, it might never express any of those colors because of the difference in the environment. That seed always had the possibility to grow into a purple plant, but you never saw the purple pheno until you planted it outside with lower nighttime temps. Even clones from the same exact mother plant might express different phenos depending on their growing conditions. So does this mean that you don't ever really know what to expect when growing from seeds? Well, not really. So if you were to just go pollinate a weed plant right now, the seeds that came from that plant would grow into a bunch of new plants that all look different from each other. Just like if you were to have a bunch of babies with someone, all of your kids would look a little different from each other. They are all siblings, but they're not all identical twins. And it's sort of the same with a weed plant. But if you're getting seeds from a reputable breeder, it's way different than this. So if you're getting your seeds from a reputable breeder, they've probably been around for decades and the strain you're getting from them, they probably spent a lot of time to back cross and stabilize these genetics. This way all the seeds you get from them will be way more consistent in what they grow. But even with a strain that's really well bred, you can still expect to see three or four phenos pop up in a pack of only 10 feminized seeds. You might notice that if your same 10 seeds, you have a few plants that are tall, a few plants that are short, and a few plants that are sort of in the middle. So just play around with all these phenos in your garden and see which one you end up liking the best, because you never really know what they're gonna be until you grow them out. And if you wanna learn how they make feminized seeds, come with me to this video. Or if you wanna learn how your plants might be absorbing toxic metals from the soil, come with me to this video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for good vibes and those nuggets of knowledge, because when you watch The Strange Show, it's like going to weed college. Peace.